Hey guys, this is Louis Zenidog, and today I'm going to be doing an action figure review, or actually I'm going to be making the three action figure reviews. Real quick for you here, there's a uh, Tolka, Raza, and who's this guy in front right here? The Super Shredder, yes indeedioski. So that's what we're going to go ahead and review. These three, uh, they were a pain in the butt to get, and honestly I think action figure collecting for me has run its course, because this was not fun to obtain all three of these. Now these were pre-order. This was pre-order. Now this guy right here, when he first came out, uh, he was gone within the first uh, 10 seconds. So scalper bots have uh, been officially ruining collecting for me to the point where I'm just like, well, is it really worth it anymore? And not only that, the price. The price is, oh my goodness, the price is so damn high. It's just, uh, I'd rather get video games for that price. But let, let me show you just what I'm talking about. All right, now, as you can see, this right here, this big beauty, she literally, let's put a feet, let's put a feet like, she towers over these guys, right? She literally towers. This is the Alien Queen that I did the review for the other day. Uh, she towers over them. This right here, price tag $24. Because it was basically like 19 something, but. And it's electronic. So as you can see, this right here, she cost me about around 24 bucks. Like around 24, 25 bucks. It was, it was plus tax, that's why. So that's why it comes out, it rounds off too. So this right here, that's how much it cost. As you can see, she towers over them. She's bigger, she's electronic. She's one badass action figure. Now, these guys right here, yes, it's two of them, but they cost a lot. They literally, it was like around 80 bucks just to get these guys right here. These are rounded off numbers, people, just in case you're wondering. It's around, it rounds off to around 80. Just for these two guys right here. Uh, yes, it's nostalgic. I like, you know, nostalgia is good, but is it really worth it when it comes down to it? I mean, when it comes to an action figure collector, if you're not having fun anymore collecting, then the hobby's pretty much, you know, starting to die at that point. So you got scalpers buying things off, literally ripping everything off the shelves before the actual true collector comes and gets there. So now we can't buy things off the store anymore because we have to go pay the scalper the extra money that we would have used to buy extra products within the store itself. Instead, now we got to use that money to actually go ahead and buy the action figure that we were intended to buy, which we would have got from the store, plus other things from the store. Now we got to use it all up on the scalper. That's how bad it's become. That's my point. Uh, let's get these guys out. All right. We got them off of there. As you can see, Toka and Raz are actually really big. That's actually cool. I mean, I saw these guys and I was like, wow. These are a good size. Um, let me get this off here. These are a good size action figure. They're, they're not really small. I thought they would have been like as big as Rocksteady and Bebop. Uh, as a matter of fact, I have Rocksteady with me right here. Let's put them side by side with Toka. <laughs> Tiny little feet Rocksteady. Look at this. Look at this. Toka Towers over Rocksteady. <laughs> he seems so underwhelming. Look at this. Like, yeah, that guy. That guy's big. <laughs> All right, now let's uh, get Raza over here. I, I've already pre-cut these out. So I'm going to have to take so long to just remove them from there. Ah. Can he close his mouth? Yes, he can. Uh, I'm not going to go ahead and start moving their joints back and forth. It's just I find it kind of odd in the video to be doing that. But this is Razar. Uh, he's got this armor detail. He's got the chains on there. I mean, I'm not going to lie to you. NECA has really good detail. But the price, oh my lord. Kind of reminds me of one of these uh, the He-Man action figures, doesn't it? It was like Beast Man. <laughs> That's really, really cool. These are actual chains. These are not like plastic. Oh. Let's see what stuff they have in here. Alrighty, extra hands. <laughs> Fire extinguisher. There's a hubcap shield for a truck. The donuts. Is that a pipe? A wooden board. The TGRI or TCRI um, ooze. We got extra hands for Toka as well. That's pretty much all the extras that come inside there. Uh, let's go ahead and get a uh, soups out, super shredder. All right, we're gonna go ahead and uh, get um super shredder right here. Let's see. Hmm. 
It's got pretty good art detail. I wonder what kind of plastic they use for this one. Uh, it's wiggly. That's good. At least it's not like super breakable. I don't want to have these things like that, and they look like really cool. And then you suddenly you put pressure on it, and pop, it just snaps off. Huh. Let's see this head. Huh. Pretty hard plastic on this as well. Oh, you can see his eyes in there. <laughs> looks like kind of like a zombie brains. All right. Well, he's a really really tall guy. We're gonna put them all side by side to go ahead and uh, show the difference in size comparison. But Super Shredder's pretty tall. He's about 10 inches tall, I think. Hmm. All right. All right. Let's see. Hmm. Well, look, there goes a size comparison for all these guys right here. All right, Rocksteady, Toka, Super Shredder's like literally above Raza, and Raza's bigger than these two here. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and see what's up with the Super Shredder um, accessories. All right, let's see. We got the what's that? A halberd? I think that's what they call it—a halberd. Oh, halberd slash spear. That's actually freaking cool. Hmm. And this right here is a TGRI or TCRI. They keep changing that, so we just call it the ooze. <laughs> He's got how many hands are in here? One, two, three, four hands. Those are replaceable, I guess, if you want to like add weapons and stuff. He's got closed fists and things like that. We're gonna go ahead and uh, do one more thing, and then we'll be done. Alright, we're gonna go ahead and get into the box art. Can't really see it with this lighting. Good lord. Let's get that out of here. Let's see what's inside here. Oh, they got like a kind of like with the inside of the the shack that they had inside of the the movie from part two. Oops, sorry about that. Probably got you all dizzy on that one. Alright, well. Yeah, that's pretty much like the picture of the shack. That's what's inside there. All right, let's see. It says, "Express yourself." Two articulated special features. So, I guess it's uh, facial features. I guess so you can open and close your mouth. That's what they're talking about—the facial features. Shoot, what's the age on this thing here? I don't see anything that says for how many ages. Oh, here it goes. Ages 14 and up. All right, not bad. And this one here, ages 14 and up. That's cool. All right, and let's check out the credits for this. Uh, you know, basically the same artists. They're, they're, they're their main artists in here. Design. Can't even read that anymore. Well, I'll just read it out for you. So, there's design and development, Randy Falk and Trevor Zamet. Sculpt is Jason Fraley. Fabrication by Robert Fernandez and Anthony Minichino. Uh, Painted by John Wardell and Jeffrey Trapp. And the packaging was by Chris Remo. Nika Real Toys and Nickelodeon have got you this. Alright, and I'm pretty sure this credits are the same for this one right here. Uh, let's go up Jason Fraley. Yeah, pretty much. It's the same guys. And well, that's pretty much uh, have been, has been my review for the... Let's get that out of the way. Alright, my review for the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2 Secret of the Ooze. Oops, where'd you come out of, dude? Let's get out of here. <laughs> uh, action figures and uh, Satoka, Rezar, and Super Shredder review. Had to bring in Rocksteady just so you could see how underwhelming he is compared to these guys. <laughs> Bebop's about the same size, so there you go. All right, guys, have a nice day, and I'll see you next time. Bye.